Being a doctor, a healer, can truly be a noble profession, and you're about to meet some doctors absolutely filled with compassion. These doctors donate their time and skills to people in desperate need. And tonight, the story of a child and the Bay Area doctors willing to do everything to help her. Nine-year-old Maria Christina is near the end of her 10,000-mile journey to a better life. She was born in Brazil with an extremely rare cleft face. She had a big gap in her nose and lips and could not even close her eyes. But her family could not afford the surgery she needed. Uh, she didn't have any friends to play or to go uh, anywhere because the condition. Maria Cristina was an outcast in her own community for eight years until last summer when her mother heard about a group of plastic surgeons visiting Brazil. They were there to offer free medical care to children who could not get help any other way. The doctors are part of an organization called Interplast, based in Mountain View. They travel to developing countries all over the world providing life-changing surgery. Maria Cristina's first operation was done last year in Brazil. Doctors closed up her lip and nose, and she finally looked normal enough to start school. But that was just the beginning. A few weeks ago, Dr. John Zimmerman went back to Brazil for the next phase. We went ahead and put these little balloons that are expandable balloons called tissue expanders in her cheeks. The balloons are stretching Maria Cristina's skin to make room for cheekbones created out of her own ribs. The extra skin will also help repair her eyelids. The next operation she needs is so complicated that Interplast has flown her all the way to the United States. Along the way, volunteers are making the trip easier. I know how hard it is to be in a, a foreign country and not having anybody to help you with the language and things that you really need. So I thought I don't want to anybody to go through that. Maria Cristina is understandably scared as she waits for her surgery, but she knows how she wants to look when it's over. Bonita. Beautiful. The Queen of the Valley Hospital is providing the operating room for free. The surgery takes five and a half hours. When it's all over, the result is dramatic. So she is one very pretty, normal little girl, right? Can you see a smile? <laughs> a month after the surgery, Maria Cristina's face is still a little bruised and swollen, but it will heal. Her eyelids are repositioned so they open and close properly, and two of her ribs are now cheekbones. Her ribs extend from here all the way across to here. The simple act of putting on sunglasses shows how Maria Cristina's life has changed. A few months ago, her nose would not hold them up. Now, she's just like her friends. Before, people looked at me different. Now I think they'll look at me just like I'm normal. Oh. Well, Maria Cristina was the 520th patient Interplast has brought to the United States for treatment, and the organization has helped another 30,000 people in their home countries. Now, the doctors and nurses do donate their time, but they still need money for medical supplies and transportation. So, if you would like to help, please call 650-962-0120. The number again is 650 650- Nine six two zero one two three. That's to help out the group Interplast and what wonderful work they did. Oh, they are. And Maria is but one example of what those doctors are doing. Well, have you ever wondered about your family? Now, news north of the gate. You're watching News Channel 50 at 7. Nine-year-old Brazilian girl is in the North Bay tonight for a radical surgery that will change her life forever. She's just undergone a reconstructive procedure to correct a severe facial deformity. News Channel 50's Tara Loftrum caught up with her yesterday before the operation and has more now on her amazing story. Tara. That's right. When you meet little Maria Cristina, you can't help but notice her face. Mm -hmm. But you also can't help but notice her spirit. That's because she's had to cope with a severe defect all of her life, one that's made her stand out in a crowd. But she's developed courage and a positive outlook that reflect a wisdom beyond her years. It's the miracle Maria Cristina da Silva has been waiting for since the day she was born. A plastic surgeon from Napa has agreed to fix a genetic defect that has made it hard for her to do everyday things like sleep, speak, and eat. 
Dr. John Zimmerman met Maria in Brazil when she was just two years old. He was with a medical team called Interplast, a group that provides free reconstructive surgeries to needy children worldwide. She's got tremendous personality. I mean, she's, she's extremely smart, uh, despite the fact that she was not able to go to school until we repaired her lip last year. I mean, the children just would not accept her. She couldn't go out of her house. She had no friends. They used to cry together, and now the kids like her, and she's just like everybody else. The teachers explain what happened, and now she's happy. Maria's cleft deformity is rare. It's left her with no cheekbones, no bottom eyelids, a missing upper lip, and part of a nose. Her father left the family when she was just a baby, unable to handle the stress of her condition. But Maria is a happy child. She's enjoyed her trip to the U.S., just getting here, she says, was exciting. She likes to be on the airplane. Maria's surgery lasted about six and a half hours. The doctor had to remove some of her ribs in order to reconstruct bones in her face that had been missing since she was born. Doctors hope this third surgery will be her last. For Maria, it's the beginning of a new life, one she's not afraid to face. Just a remarkable little girl. She handed out flowers to my cameraman and me when we went to go visit her yesterday. This is her first trip to the United States. She had to have the surgery done here because it was so complicated. Her medical bill totaling $50,000 is being picked up by Queen of the Valley Hospital in Napa, where she's staying, by Dr. Zimmerman and Interplast. Maria will spend about six weeks in recovery before leaving for Brazil. It's a wonderful Amazing story. Amazing story. All right. Thank you, Tara. Thank you, Tara. North of the Gate. You're watching News Channel 50 at 10. A nine-year-old Brazilian girl is here in the North Bay for a radical surgery that could change her life forever. Earlier today, she underwent a reconstructive procedure to correct a severe facial deformity. We caught up with her yesterday before the operation. It's the miracle Maria Cristina da Silva has been waiting for since the day she was born. A plastic surgeon from Napa has agreed to fix a genetic defect that has made it hard for her to do everyday things like sleep, speak, and eat. Dr. John Zimmerman met Maria in Brazil when she was just two years old. He was with a medical team called Interplast, a group that provides free reconstructive surgeries to needy children worldwide. She's got tremendous personality. I mean, she's, she's extremely smart, uh, despite the fact that she was not able to go to school until we repaired her lip last year. I mean, the children just would not accept her. She couldn't go out of her house. She had no friends. They used to cry together. And now the kids like her, and she's just like everybody else. The teachers explain what happened, and now she's happy. Maria's cleft deformity is rare. It's left her with no cheekbones, no bottom eyelids, a missing upper lip, and part of a nose. Her father left the family when she was just a baby, unable to handle the stress of her condition. But Maria is a happy child. She's enjoyed her trip to the U.S. Just getting here, she says, was exciting. She likes to be on the airplane. Maria's surgery lasted about six and a half hours. The doctor had to remove some of her ribs in order to reconstruct bones in her face that had been missing since she was born. Doctors hope this third surgery will be her last. For Maria, it's the beginning of a new life, one she's not afraid to face. Now, the reason Maria's cheeks were so puffy is because the doctor had to insert balloons in them last time he was in, in Brazil. This will create more skin for him to work with when he gives her those lower eyelids. Maria had to have the surgery done in the U.S. because it was so complicated. She's now at the Queen of the Valley Hospital in Napa and will return to Brazil in six weeks. Channel 50 at 10, followed by Coach and Hunter, right here on News Channel 50. Now an update on a story we first brought you one month ago. A nine-year-old Brazilian girl was born with a genetic deformity that severely disfigured her face. But thanks to a Napa plastic surgeon, she can now face the world that used to haunt her. We first met Maria Cristina da Silva the day before her big surgery. She had already undergone two operations in Brazil by Napa surgeon John Zimmerman to correct her cleft deformity. On his last trip, he put implants in her cheeks to stretch out her face for this procedure. I think it's a good lesson for all of us. We all have these trials and tribulations, and 
you know, they're insurmountable, and obviously this child had uh, the cards stacked against us, uh, against her rather, from the beginning. And, and she's going to over, overcome it. And look at her now. After five hours of surgery and more than 100 stitches later, a whole new face. Zimmerman constructed cheekbones for her out of her ribs and improved her lower eyelids, lips, and nose. Now, at the end and culmination of all the operative procedures, uh, she's uh, just a typical little girl, and you could take her anywhere here in California or Brazil. It doesn't make any difference. She's uh, interested in seeing her girlfriends getting back and showing off the way she looks and playing with the dolls. Before the surgeries, Maria had trouble with everyday things like sleeping, speaking, and even eating. Food would seep out of the wide gaps in her face. She was not able to attend school for several years. But throughout it all, Maria's mother says her daughter has been brave. They used to cry together, and now the kids like, uh, and she's just like everybody else, the teacher will explain what happened, Now, now she's happy. Maria says she wants to go swimming soon and plans to dive into her new life back home, one she's eager to face. Zim Dr. Zimmerman works with a medical team called Interplast, a group that provides free reconstructive surgeries to needy children worldwide. Now little Maria will return to Brazil July 6th. Well, a national trend in the...